Relentless rain washes out second T20I after 11 overs. Not Monganui had a solid Friday turnout to start off the year-end weekend, but rain had the final say in the second T20I between New Zealand and Bangladesh after only 11 overs of action. It was an even contest with New Zealand at 72 for 2 in 11 overs, with Bangladesh crawling back after Tim Seyfert's early assault. Seyfert scored 43 in 23 balls with 6 fours and 1 6, but everything wasn't spectacular. Craig McMillan on the broadcast said, He swung like a rusty gate, suitably describing the opener's stay with a few lucky boundaries off slogs adding to New Zealand's early momentum. It was however an important innings because Finn Allen was out driving Shoreful Islam to cover in the second over of the game, and Darrell Mitchell in at no. 3 was slow to start after Bangladesh opted to bowl. In between, on 8, Seyfert was also hit on the side of his helmet at the non-striker's side after Mitchell crunched a drive back. He continued after the physios go ahead. Mitchell struggled in his 24 ball stay of 18, looking to overhit Bangladesh's pacers or leg spinner Rishad Hossein. Rishad's three overs at 333 apiece kept Mitchell and no. Four Glenn Phillips 9 and 14 in check. On a slippery outfield, Bangladesh's impressive fielding added to the squeeze. Samia Sarkar down the ground was busy manning long on, and it was Najmal Hosan Shanto's tricky catch running behind from cover that removed a rampaging Seyfert in the eighth over. A light drizzle soon gained momentum forcing the players off the field. Had there been a short DLS-adjusted chase, Bangladesh would have needed 46 and 5 overs, but those were slim hopes. The rain never relented rather only increased in intensity, and the umpires abandoned the fixture at 9.55 p.m. local time. Friday's washout confirms Bangladesh will have at least one hand on this T20i trophy come Sunday. New Zealand can only level the series in the third T20i on December 31 with the host trailing 0-1.